just because it's kind of loud. Yeah. We got food. We got food. We'd be really super hungry. I do like Burger King, but I do like Burger King's French fries. Moan was a little much. Oh. <laughs> I really like. Oh, you know what? This is kind of nice. Nice little table. Yeah. yeah. Look at us. So we got lunch, 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 lunch. McDonald's, you should make your fries like this. And we should make the chicken sandwiches like this. Yeah. <laughs> I should have had them cut it in half, so. I know, I was thinking that as we were pulling up. Yeah. But it's hard. I don't think on their app you can put like any. Um, oh, cut in half. Yeah, I don't think you can like add any notes or whatever. Um, I'll probably just take one bite of that anyway. Look at this little table actually we got. I, I know. I thought that I could smell it. That's a medium fry. Right? And it was um, like $5. Yeah, it was. How could that be? Right? That can't be. Yeah, it was like $4 and change. I know. That's a medium fry? It can't be. That's like a value fry. I mean, with inflation and all, things should be getting bigger, right? When well, you inflate like a balloon, it gets bigger. Oh, well, and like, compared to burger, I mean... McDonald's um large fry. Yeah. And um I really I I mean um it's, it's just ultra crispy and hand breaded and I, I got that amazing chicken sandwich that I really love here. But I, I am kinda liking this for now, this little trendy retro kind of stuff they're doing. No. It's kinda nice. <laughs> but do they have it on the fries? No, what is that? A tongue or a smile face? Oh, that's kinda weird. I think it's like a french fry with ketchup. Oh. But also. It looks almost like the Amazon thing. Kind of. Mm. I really like the angle of mm. this. The way we're able to prop up the camera in this new calf. In this calf. Yeah, in the calf. Yeah, it's like perfect for, we got both phones oh. propped up. Did you have put cheese on this? I hope. I hope they put it on your Whopper. It tasted like there was cheese. Yeah. That's weird. I don't, I don't think it's supposed to have cheese on it. I don't remember there being cheese on Do that. You guys know? Yeah. Huh. That's so weird. Oh, oh they, they did give me the receipt, though. You can look and see. That's so funny. I don't I, think it's supposed to have cheese. I do not remember that chicken sandwich having cheese. It must have, they must have seen because we put add cheese to the Whopper. You put heavy cheese, yeah, on the um, Whopper. That's what it says, heavy cheese. It doesn't look that heavy. Two slices, I just put and this one. Has, and this I has two. I just put two. add a slice of cheese. That is so weird. Yeah, it says that's a medium fry. Hmm, that is so weird. But it doesn't say cheese on the chicken. No. Weird. Good thing I'm not allergic to this. It's probably not real cheese anyway, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it looks like it's easy enough to take off if you don't like the cheese with it. Yeah. Can I try it with the cheese? Yeah. You want me to take a pickle shot though? Yeah. I don't need those pickles. Can no. I have a bite? You can. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Do you want a Whopper or chicken sandwich? They accidentally put cheese on her chicken sandwich, so. We got the surf and turf going. Kind of. Okay. Turf and turf. It's like such a big. I know, I'm hoping they're gonna keep them on the menu though because they're really good. It tastes like a KFC sandwich with the cheese. Kind yeah. of. Yeah, should I take it off? If you don't love it. I mean, I didn't hate it, but. If it's you don't okay. love it, there's no reason yeah. to... It's okay. No need to be picking everything off, right? But, I mean, look at that. I mean, that is... That's a big piece of chicken. Uh-huh. Burger King didn't come to play. No, it, I mean, so it's worth the five or six bucks, whatever, because it, it's, it's for real chicken. Like, 
It's a real bird. It, it is. Yeah. What is this bird doing? Oh. Whether they thought, because we were sitting here, this was the happening area of the parking lot. Why didn't you guys get chicken fries? Good question. As we pulled up, I was like, oh, we should have gotten mozzarella sticks. She did say that. So, you don't hog the three fries. I wish we had a Dairy Queen here, though, because I love their cheese curds. Yeah, we need to, is there, um, is there a Dairy Queen, you think, up by the mall that we're going to on Saturday? Oh. I'm gonna but I think we're up. going to eat up there already, though. Unless we find something to do before it that we go up and do stuff and get some as, you know, like a yeah. little snack or something. Oh no, it's supposed to be nice weather. Potential pop-up shower later though, like late afternoon. Guys, sorry, side note, really exciting news. Yeah. We found some butterflies today that they're at home because we had to stop for lunch. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make a video. We found new butter, like we, we took the dog for a walk at this park today that we go to all the time and usually see monarchs but but we didn't see any monarchs no but as soon as we like got to this park i was like i see a bunch of little black like flapping wings like hey what's that over there and so i was like i knew there was some sort of butterfly in this park i have a butterfly tattoo that is a stick of butter with wings that sounds great. Some butterfly? It's a stick of butter. That's great. 10 out of 10. I love that. But, um, yeah, so we went over and there was all these butterflies in the grass and flying around us. I mean, tons. And we had never seen them before. So, and I brought a little, um, like, bug container thing from the dollar store that, um, because I was hoping we would find caterpillars of some sort. Excuse me. But um, there was literally so many of these butterflies that there was like a big pile of them in the grass. So I literally just put the little container over and scooped a couple up and brought them home. I'm going to release them. Don't worry. And we're hoping that they'll hang around and, and, and do their thing on the farm because they're actually on the endangered list, um, this particular butterfly. And we've, I've never even seen them. I've never even heard of them before. They're gorgeous, but um, they like it near like wetlands and things. And we're right on the lake, so it's fresh water. I scooped a couple of them up and we're like, quick, like Google the description of them. Like what kind of butterflies mm. is we've never seen them before. And they're beautiful, beautiful. So that's why I have a little bit of makeup on. And they're like a medium-sized butterfly. Because I want to take some pictures with them when we get home so that I can let them go. So, yeah, our hope is in one little scoop, she got like four butterflies just like that without there, a net or anything. There were so many. And and when she's putting the cover on it, there was still a whole bunch on the cover as she's putting the cover on. So we're hoping that there's some males and females and that they'll you know do their thing. and Because apparently they do like to eat um, as adults. They do like the flowers of milkweed, and we've got a, quite a bit of milkweed that's starting to flower, so that's good. I put in for light ketchup and mayo on this, and it's still, like, drenched. I know, because here's the receipt. Here's the proof. <laughs> you can have some if you want. Oh, did you want some more of the chicken sandwich? I'm already surprisingly, like, filling up. I don't know what's going on. I do. I know exactly what's going on. She's excited. She wants to go home and play with the butterflies. <laughs> That's what's going on. I think this is the first thing I've eaten all day, too, so. Mm. But it was so super exciting, but as we pulled up, she spotted them flying first. And um, so then I'm looking, and we're like, in our area, we're in Rhode Island. We don't have a whole lot of cicadas, and I know a little further south, I'm saying Is that there's what you were so thinking? many of them. And she's like, oh, what are those? Like, they're like black. <laughs> and I'm like, I hope we don't get over there. 
and they'd be cicadas. But I would have been so excited though. Well, actually, cicadas are pretty noisy too. But I would. Yeah, we would. But you know what? I would have scooped some up and I would have tried one of those recipes <laughs> that I've been seeing online with the cicada because they're supposedly you super high in nasty. protein. I would have. That's what I would have done. I would have tried them. Well, let's go get some. Let's go to. I think they got some in New York. I don't want them that bad. <laughs> if they were right here, I would have said, you know what? I will try it because you can't do it again for another 17 years, that recipe. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so don't screw it up if you only got a few cicadas, right? You only got one shot at it. <laughs> but that's, in my mind, I didn't want to say to you. That's what I was thinking, but I wasn't hearing anything, so... Said, ask if you want to go to the movies, but they don't let you bring snacks in. We always sneak snacks in. Who doesn't <laughs> sneak snacks into the movies? Right? That's like part of the deal. I mean, my father used to tell me, and I, I don't know if he was ever serious and ever did this, but he was a jokester, so he probably did at some point in life. He told me, you know how you get in the movies free? When everybody's like coming out, you know how the movie's all let out and then the, the next one's going in? He says, just get there and walk backwards. Like, while everybody's walking this way, walk backwards into the theater. <laughs> he says, and then you get in and you sit down and you're ready when they start the next film. Because usually they only break for like 15 minutes in between them, you know, time for people to get out. And I don't know. I thought they would do at least the one by our house. Like, it would be a few hours apart. They'd play one at noon, and it would play until like two, two thirty, and they wouldn't be another one till like three forty-five. Well, this was. Did you bump your face? I did. It's, I scratched it. On it's, what? It looks like when I hit my my head or my. Remember when I hit my face in the pool? Oh God! Yes. <laughs> I was standing right there. I was filming you. I, I know. It happened. I know. Um. Well, I think back then. The theaters would only have like one movie running, not like a million like they have now. Um, Why does it say I lost connection? Is my phone overheating? Oh. Maybe I should turn yeah. the AC on. Yeah. And all of a sudden I lost service. The um, they would go um. What was I gonna say? Oh, so they would only have one movie, you know, playing at the theater, and then. Sorry, sorry, okay. my phone's just really hot. I'm trying to put it on under the and AC. So, and, and I'm sure as a kid, he probably went to like the matinee. So they probably ran like, you know, like two matinees. <coughs> and then his other trick that he used to tell me he would do is he would go in during intermission. Because they never charge you once the movie's already like half over, right? Mm -hmm. So he'd go in at intermission. You'd watch the second half of the yeah, movie. Be careful, your phone might be getting hot oh. too because that's what it was. My phone oh. was overheating. And then he'd watch the first half of the movie. So you'd watch the second half and then the first half. There we go, we're back. Oops, yeah, the sun's I coming right through there. I forgot about the good old summertime uh, overheating the phones. Yeah. God, I love this new car. Everywhere is a perfect little tripod. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna start taking car selfies. <laughs> I mean, like the Germans know how to build a car, right? Are you seeing this? This yeah. angle right here, right? So if you're buying a car as a tripod, buy the BMW. Was this the M3? I think. If you're a content creator, get a Beamer. Yep. And, and, and I don't know if all the models, you know, do the dash like this, but you can put like a few cameras up, you can do, you can get, have it all going on. I know, if, if we did a road trip in this, yeah, we could do some carpool karaoke. And I can't wait to check out the sunroof. Look at the size of the sunroof, right? You set the button. Oh, here we go, guys. We haven't, we've never opened the sunroof. Here we go. This is like, oh, it's like one of those double ones. It's like the... It smells a little mildewy. That's probably going to be better. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, maybe only one opens. And do you think maybe just one opens? Oh, oh. 
Okay, guys, look at that. What's up, Edgar? We were thinking about you the other day. Yeah. Long time no see, bud. Where you been? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I don't understand the point of the double. I guess when you have it, the glass not open. It's cool to have the double sunroof. Yeah. But like you can't open both panels, so I don't understand the purpose of like a double panel sunroof. But it is, I guess that way you can look out. Or I something. mean that's pretty sexy, right? Aren't we sexy guys? This, right? This car is pretty sexy. We're sexy, and the car's sexy. So we're just what's going on. I think I like this car a lot. I feel like we're in like a limo. Hmm. Oh, the lighting is immaculate. Oh my goodness. It has decent trunk space. Pretty good. And, um, I mean, it's got all the, the stuff. We just got it going on, you guys. I know that it gets better than this. It's not ours, though. So. Not yet. We're just borrowing it. Until our friend decides to give it to us. And supposedly, they gave it to us. We just don't have it in writing yet. Life hack, if you can't get rich, get rich friends. That's right. You heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. so, when in life, you are so, so poor, just find a friend with more. You know what? I'm going to start calling her Confucius because she's just like so smart and just and so beautiful. And just knows, knows it all. That's right. She's smart. She's really smart. What are you eating and drinking today? We're having some Burger King. I just finished a Whopper, which I did not think I was going to finish that. I think I ate a couple of bites for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What with cheese? And we had this chicken sandwich and somehow they managed to put cheese on it that's not supposed to. And I never would have ordered it with cheese. It's okay with cheese, but mm. it's just okay. It tastes a little healthy. A little it does. Healthy I think it's because the, the cheese isn't really quality. And yeah. so I think that's why. So, Burger King, if you're listening, if you could stop up the quality of your cheese, thank you so much. Yeah. Love well, your hair color, I think. I think um, <laughs> Wendy's is the one that has the best quality of cheese, is what I'm told. And they usually have a few different types. So, of the like, is really this true? Super Does best. Wendy's have a few types of, of cheese? Yeah. I mean, unless you spend, you know, triple the price and you go to like, um, what's that? Smash Burger? Not Smash Burger. What's the one? Um, Burger Kids. Shake, um, Burger Shake, Shake and Shake. Shake Shack. Hmm, that's the one. Or Steak and Shake. Or that. Yes, this is my mom. I'm getting full. I finished my Dr. Pepper. She's all doctored up. I forgot to ask for light ice like it's Starbucks. I know. When you go to like Starbucks, when you're paying like, you know, $7 for this much refresher, you have to say light ice. Can I get a buzz cut? No. No, you should not. No. And don't grow that's that beard out either. <laughs> Before you even ask, I know that's what you're going to ask next. So, um, don't be doing that either. You heard it here first. Yeah. So, this is um, the first time we had enough napkins. I was concerned with the new car that we might get sloppy, and they never, they never seem to give us enough napkins. Not because we're sloppy, just because their food's messy. <laughs> I only used one. Me too, but that's what I'm saying. The one time that we didn't need like additional wipage. Um, do a mullet. They said I'm outside the barber shop right now. Pick my haircut. Do oh. a mullet. Oh. How long is your hair? Doesn't matter. No matter how long your hair is. You can do a mullet. You can no do a mullet what? at any length. Oh. Okay. So go for it. They said they'd do a buzz, buzz cut, so. No, I think you should do a shag. What kind of car? We are in a Beamer. Uh, it's a Beamer it? M3, I think. X, X3? Oh, is it X3? I thought it was M3, but okay. Oh, well, it's one of those letters. She's going to go check out. 
If your hair is shoulder length, get them on. Mm. Or a shag. If you're older, you'll know what a shag is. Yeah, it's an X3. If not, do it. Oh, X3? Yeah. Oh, we're in an X3. Wendy's 4 for 4 is the best fast food deal. Meh. I like Burger King better. I don't know. It depends on my mood. <laughs> um, but sometimes I'm with you. I, I like I like Wendy's. I do. But they've their um, baked potatoes have gone downhill. Just saying. And half the time they don't have them, and it's not one of those things that you can wait for because they take you know an hour to bake. Oh, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Just saying. So I don't like that. That's very frustrating. If you go there because it's the only place that you can get baked potatoes, and then they don't have them, it's very frustrating. Guys, on another note, I had the goats out last night, and now my neck, because it was so late, I had the goats out at like 7 o'clock last night. For a long time, though. You had them out for a long time. My neck is covered in mosquito bites, and it's so itchy. Yeah, yeah. You can see them. So Give itchy. Give her some sympathy, you guys. Come on. Give her some sympathy. <laughs> What's up, random guy, dude? So, we should go get some bunk spray at some point. I'm sure we have a million bottles of it. Yeah. Burger King and some Wendy's uh, have those cool mas oh, soda machines with all the combos. You know what? You're right. You know what? Dairy Queen does too. That is um, <coughs> Wendy's redeeming quality right there. Yeah. Put Vicks Vapor Rub on it. I think that's a trap. That sounds like it would burn. <laughs> it might. It or it might draw out the... Said it won't itch as much. I saw a, I saw a video on Tuck for you feed. Um, literally, like, right before we left the house. And it was this woman saying, like, teach your kids how to, like, use the resources that they have. And she had two daughters. And they had, like, uh, mosquito bites. And she was like, okay, like, what fixes that? And the two girls, they were like a few years apart. They split up and they both went and found this plant in the grass. And she was like, go find it and stand over it. And so the girls went and stood over them. Were they the same they plant? They were the same they thing. Picked. Yeah, oh, okay. they were in different. And she, I, I don't remember the name of it. I saved the video, though, because she was like, this plant is the best, like, itch relief for, I want to say she said, like, it sounds crazy, but something plantain was the type of just leaf that it was. Obviously they're not yeah. plantains, because yeah. plantains yeah, yeah. are like bananas or whatever, but um, I want to say that it was like a plantain or just like something similar to that name. Well, I want to, I think uh, I should pick up one of those that that woman from Florida that was on Shark Tank invented. That's like things. the bug thing. But that has to be right when you get bit. Right. You have to like see yourself get bit and then pull yeah. like it out. Yeah, it draws it out. I got a bruise on my arm the other day and that like, as weird as it even sounds to say, but like, like who bru? I mean, I guess you bruise like a little potato, but um, like I never get bruises on my arms. Yeah. And I had like a, I have, it's still it's still there. It's, I know, but you get abused by the animals sometimes. I know, but so. I never get bruises on my arms, and so it was um. so weird. All of a sudden, it was like super sore. Hmm. I just have like really tiny arms, so. So I would say, like, if say you're home and you don't have to. Things I would try, I would try like peroxide because maybe that would bubble out the, um, you know, the sting, the venom. That would probably just dry it out. Okay. Uh, or, um, like, um, something like, like said, they said, mentholated, like, you know, like a Vicks or... It's a new car, you back to doing squishes, and now, not with this car. Or, um, or even maybe like baking soda and water paste, you know, would draw out the, um... The itch, maybe? Edgar said the VIX is very soothing. I do it, it doesn't. Edgar's being nice today. This is weird. Edgar, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, He's being helpful. Random guy, he said, surprisingly, TikTok can be educational. Um, what are people saying on my TikTok stream? Bruise like a Wendy's baked potato. <laughs> So, yeah, the, um, and now, so this is interesting though. So like, why do they call it bug spray? Like you would think, right? 
bug spray, are you putting it on to attract bugs? I don't know, sorry, there was weird people in the comments oh. that I was, um, um, you know, you'd think it would be called, like, anti-bug spray. Right. Because it's supposed to, sh you know, shoe fly. Well, I mean, it's not called sugar spray. No, it's not. It should be, oh, well, I guess it's bug repellent is probably what it says on a lot of them. But everybody just calls it bug spray. And bug so, spray is cologne for bugs. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so I think we should, like, classify, you know, better and call it, you know, bug repellent. Call it what it is. I mean, uh, I'm sure on almost every bottle you find it'll say so. bug spray repellent. Yeah. But every, yeah, but we all just call it, oh, go get the bug spray. I mean, ever since you were a kid, right? Your mother always said, oh, did you put bug spray on? You seem way too stressed about this situation. No, yeah, I'm not because I'm very lucky. I was out with Meg for about 20 minutes and I didn't get any bug bites. Probably, the bugs probably came out as soon as I left. How's the Patreon going? Funny you should ask. Um, I posted stuff like a couple days ago and no one like interacted immediately. So I didn't, uh... Like, I posted on Patreon the other day, like, what should I eat for lunch? And I'll film it. And no one wrote back for, like, two days. <laughs> so someone was like, a grilled cheese. And I saw it, like, last night at, like, midnight. So um, I guess I'll have to go have a grilled cheese on my Patreon soon. I don't know. Does grilled cheese make you burp? I don't know. I, I guess, guess maybe find what, out. what you have with it. <laughs> if you have some yeah. soda and broccoli with it. <laughs> maybe a, maybe they were thinking like grilled cheese and broccoli sandwich. <laughs> that doesn't sound really yummy. Yeah, I don't really um, do the Patreon that much anymore, but I mean, if people wanted me to, I would. Make it worth your while, you know. Just saying. So we're waiting for the uh, new goat fencing to come. Apparently, it's not working properly, some so the goats men, are escaping. Some just random men waved at us. Yeah, they see these two hot chicks over here in this little beamer, you know, and said, Oh, look at them. Oh, I think they're still pointing from across the way. Oh. Wow. You just busy yourself over there at the drive through fellers. Uh, that guy probably just thinks grilled cheese is sexy. You know what? Oh. Uh, Where is the argument, though? You know? Grilled cheese is fairly sexy. Depends on the kind of cheese. I'm just saying. Yeah. You know what? I'm still upset about not getting all the freebies on my birthday. I know. And I'm they never even like sent that. the emails or anything about it, right? No. Does anyone know? Has any, like, I mean, I guess there are videos of people doing it, but it's like, and I mean, I guess I'm signed up for next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't change your email address. <laughs> I just have to like keep, I think, the same phone so that I, because I'm signed in to like oh, all of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, so maybe throughout the course of the year, what you do is you keep signing up for anything new that you understand. It's going to be a birthday thing whenever you see it. And then if they'll, you guys don't they'll know email what, you on your birthday. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, on my birthday, like a few days, because my birthday was in May, a few days before my birthday, I had signed up on like every like fast food chain, like e all of the the like chain and, and corporate like food places, whatever that give you something free on your birthday. But when, but when other you're... things too, like you know um, Ulta and Sephora and all. Well, of... I did get that. Yeah, that is the one thing I got. <laughs> right, and it was good. Um, but yeah, like on your birthday, like with Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks, like um, a lot of all those. Um, you can sign up and they'll give you a free drink or free yeah. whatever. So I signed up like a couple days before my birthday on all these websites and, and couldn't figure out how, like, we also didn't try, but we didn't want to spend the time going to each place to get rejected. I know, because um, you don't want to be rejected on your birthday. Just saying, that's not a good way to spend your birthday. Because I'm sure, I'm sure like, you guys know how it is when you pull up somewhere and they're like, well, do you have, like... Because, like, if you pull up to a drive-thru and you're like, 
hey it's my birthday and so I'm supposed to get a free drink on my birthday and so give it to me they're like <laughs> well do you have something to redeem and I'm yeah, it's like, like a coupon or a code and or I, I, ha I had no way to get anything from like that from any of those she had nothing you know so we didn't even like try except yeah. for Ulta we did get mascara and she liked it I did but yeah I'm still like a little bit bitter about that well, we still have an opportunity. My birthday's in August. If I start signing up for them now, they have plenty of time to get me into the system, right? Yes. Well, you and, better get on it. And we can pretend like it's your birthday. Maybe we'll get so much stuff, there'll be enough for two people's birthdays. Maybe. Yeah. Anyways, we have to get back because oh. the goats have been breaking out. Yeah, and they're supposed to be delivering the new goat fencing today, but we don't know what time. And a Friday, chances are the delivery will be late. So, we don't want any escapees. Hi, baby girl. Um, yes, we gotta go back to the goats. Yeah, babysit. So we'll end mom's stream, but I'm gonna stay on TikTok because we can play music. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, because it's the new car has a good radio. And then they tell you to buzz off and, and that's it. Everyone's birthday. <laughs> I know, yeah. right? Um, um, Christian just takes back. Um, okay, well, signed up for a bunch of things before your birthday. Good thinking. <laughs> yeah, so I think I better get on it because my birthday's in August. Yeah. Everybody write that down, August 17th. Yeah. All right. And Thank uh, you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys later. Yeah, check out that new sunroof. Isn't that cool? We're cool. I mean, oh, no, no, that's sexy. Here, there we go. We're sexy. There you go. You all right? I'm good. Are okay. you good? Yeah. Okay. Bye.